Something's got a bunch of black dirt all worked up. In fact, it's steaming mad. Maybe because it's, well, being pushed around. Yeah. <laughs> to understand exactly what's happening out behind Methodist Hospital, you need to go back to a summer day in 2005 as we paddle the creek called Minnehaha. The stream runs from Lake Minnetonka into downtown Minneapolis and right along the backside of the hospital. Now, in 2005, Methodist was neck deep in the midst of a major construction project, building a brand new heart center. We started looking at what are the other opportunities we might have where the, the wetland could be more of an amenity to our patients, visitors, even to the community than it currently was. The hospital wanted to turn back the clock, so to speak. See, 150 years ago, Minnehaha Creek meandered through the countryside, widely untouched by man. As the first Westerners settled here and the Twin Cities slowly grew, so did pressure to develop around the once remote stream. Developers logged the forests and farmers plowed the prairies. They straightened the creek and soon enough, Minnehaha became less of a natural resource and more like a ditch. Newspaper cameras captured images of the overwhelmed and abused creek. Which brings us back to a cold January day last winter. A day. You can feel your whole body shake. The earth move. It's hard to set back the clock in urban areas, but we can, given the constraints that we have in urban areas, we can recover uh, some of the natural elements of uh, a stream. Yes, hospital administrators, along with several partners, set out to heal the land on the creek. In a nutshell, we are basically just taking what was a straight ditch, about 1,500 feet of straight ditch, and uh, building a new channel offline from that. Meandering back and forth as the stream did 100 years ago. It's a dirty and darn cold job. The reason we're out here um, in January is because uh, we need the frozen soils to be able to work. Um, we're basically on a big uh, floodplain peat bog, and this is the only time to get equipment out here to actually do the excavation. That's right on, right there. The crew mapped out the meanders yeah, right and here. built up the new stream banks. The purpose of the wood is to is really twofold. It gets us um, some temporary protection uh, of the toe against erosion and the old stumps will create spots for new fish to hide once the creek fills back up. Well, this is native grass seed in here, sedges and griffin type of grasses, and then this is native wildflower seed. You can look back, you know, in the 1800s and see what was growing here, and that's, as a company, that's what we, our main mission is to try and restore native plant communities and restore what, what once was because so much of it, as you know, have, has been eradicated over the years. Right there, uh, we'll just hand rake it and seed it and then we'll start stretching. Folks from Prairie Restoration throw down the seed and workers then cover and stabilize the banks using those biodegradable blankets. By June, middle of June, you won't see it at all. It'll be completely covered with vegetation, so. Take this story from cold to downright hot. This past summer, Prairie Restorations finished up planting, including willow sticks along the banks. It's our part to try and heal the earth, um, give nature a helping hand, if you will. Pretty cool to see the then and now. Proof that we can turn back the clock, and that is a good thing. In helping um, recreate something that once was as part of our part of our natural heritage.